Hi there and thanks for joining me. Uh, in this video we are going to look at number patterns. We are going to take a sequence of numbers and find out how to find the rule so that we can figure out the next numbers in the pattern. Let's make a start by having a look at this row of numbers. They are of course very familiar to us because they are how we count. So these are just the numbers counting from 1 to 10. But they are in fact in a pattern because as we go from one number to the next, we are adding 1 each time. But sometimes we see a series of numbers that follow a different pattern. Here, for instance, we have a different row of numbers. Now, it might well be that we are asked to find the next number in the series. We might be asked what comes next. Now, in order to do that, we have to work out the pattern. And the way we do it is to find the difference between two numbers. So in this case, to get from 1 to 3, we have added 2. To get from 3 to 5, we are adding 2 again. So with this particular pattern, each step from one number to the next is going up by 2. Therefore, if we're asked to find the next number, we have to continue with the same pattern, add 2, and we find the next number will be 13. We may be asked to find the next two numbers, so we would add 2 again and come up with the number 15. So in order to find these numbers, what we've actually done is looked for the rule for this particular pattern. And in this case, as we've said, each one is going up by 2, so the rule for this pattern is plus 2. We have to add 2 every time we want to find the next number. Let's have a look at another sequence of numbers. Here we have 21, 17, 13, 9. Now, again, we are going to be asked to find the next two numbers in the sequence. So, let's have a look what is happening each time we move from one number to the next. 21 going down this time, and in fact, to get from 21 to 17, we have to take away 4. Let's check whether this is the rule. Well, 17 down to 13 is take away 4, and so is 13 to 9. Therefore, we have found the rule for this pattern, and in this case, it is take away 4 each time. So if we are going to take away another 4, 9 minus 4, the next number in this pattern would be 5 and take away 4 again, the next number is a 1. Let's have a look at another couple of examples and then I want to try a question such as you might find in an exam or test. So this top one here, we are starting at 1, 4, 7 and 10 and we are looking for the next two digits, the next two numbers. So in this case, what has happened to the numbers? To get from 1 to 4, we are adding 3. Does this work each time? 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 plus 3 is 10. Therefore, to find the next number, it is 10 plus 3. We would get the number 13. And to go again would be another plus 3. And the last number we are looking for is 16. So the rule that we found there was plus 3. Further down the page, we have 30, 25, 20, 15. So again, the numbers are now coming down. Therefore, the rule is going to be a minus, and we have to find the difference between each number. Well, 30 down to 25 is minus 5. Again, it's worth checking. Do we have a pattern? Is it minus 5 every time? Yes, it is. So if we were looking again for the next two numbers, it would be 15 minus 5. The next number would be 10. And it would be 10 minus 5. And the next number would be 5. Let's have a look now at a typical question. So here we have Jack, who is collecting model cars. And we're told that at the end of July, he has six cars. 
Now, by the end of August, he had nine cars. At the end of September, 12. And the end of October, 15 cars. And we've been asked how many cars he'll have by the end of November and at the end of December. So the first thing is to recognise that here we have a number pattern. And if we put the numbers down so that, let's label it, there's August, he had nine cars. By September, we're told it was 12. October, he had 15. Now we're being asked to look for the number of cars he's going to have at the end of November and December. And to do this, we need to look for the pattern. So we are going from 9 to 12 from August to September. That means it's gone up by 3. And 12 to 15 from September to October. So that's also gone up by 3. So we have a pattern rule, and that rule is plus 3. So let's use the rule to find November. So 15 cars plus 3. By the end of November, he's going to have 18 and use plus three again to find the total for December. And we find that is 21. You might find that sometimes things get a little more difficult because the number pattern includes decimal numbers. Let's have a look at this example. We have a DIY shop selling nails of different lengths. And here are the first four sizes. So we have 1.6 centimetres, 1.9, 2.2 and 2.5 centimetres. And we're being asked what would the next two sizes be. So we are looking for the two sizes at the end here. Now to do this, it's exactly the same as it was before. We need to know what the pattern is. We need to find the rule. Now the way to do this would be to take the 1.9 and take away 1.6. If we do that, we find that the difference between the first two numbers is 0 0.3. Now, of course, we need to make sure that's a pattern. So let's have a look at the second two numbers. We have 2.2, and if we take away 1.9, it equals 0 0.3. Also, for the last two, 2.5 minus 2.2 is 0.3. Therefore, we have established that the rule in this pattern is plus 0.3. So to find the next two numbers, we have the last number here, 2.5. We have to add 0.3. So this is going to go up by 0.3 and you would arrive at the answer 2.8 centimetres. And again, if we take 2.8 and add 0.3, we end up with 3.1. So our final answer is 3.1 centimetres. It has followed the pattern of going up by 0.3. So there we go, just to summarise, find the difference between the numbers that you are given in the sequence and use that difference to find the next numbers. And don't forget, be careful, make sure you have figured out whether the pattern is going up or down. Thank you for joining me. Please hit the subscribe button and take a look at some of the other videos on my channel.